up to six people to meet outside, provided those from different households continue strictly to observe social distancing rules by staying two meters apart. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blair Fuck. You know what time it is. I right, want to talk to you guys about the Boris Johnson recent events. My guy has told us we can finally officially meet up to six people in the park, so long as you're two meters away from each other. Hey. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on that bell button for notification of the uploads, baby. And for those of you returnees, you already know the model, baby. You ain't got the minerals, you ain't got the minerals. Alright, so recent events, Boris Johnson came onto the news and told us we can officially meet up to six people. Yes, and you can meet them in the park. Okay, so obviously that's... I mean, I'm happy. I mean, finally, listen, it looks like we're going somewhere. You know, I'm tired of this lockdown. I don't know about you guys, but quarantine ain't working for me. I don't know about you guys. We will now allow people to meet in gardens and other private outdoor spaces. Um, but he said, obviously, officially, yes, we can meet up six people in the park. And also, you can now officially meet people for garden tea parties also in your back garden. Now, I don't know about you guys. I don't have a big enough garden to have six people in, but if you do, but obviously on a real spin and I start bantering now obviously I mean it shows that obviously we're moving in the right direction although we do have the highest death count in the whole of Europe but I mean sure I mean we can meet up with six people in uh, in the lockdown I mean many of us have been breaking the lockdown I mean, I, I mean I don't know about anyone else but obviously Dominic Cummins I mean absolutely terrible I mean I haven't been meeting my girlfriend during the lockdown um, that's what the right thing to do. Anyway, let's just break down what he actually said in the actual uh, thing. It was about 15 minutes long, but we're going to break down just two minutes of what he actually said. And I'm going to break down what he really meant, what he said. All right, cool. So, closing schools has deprived children of their education. And as so often, it is the most disadvantaged pupils who risk being hardest hit. He said they're going to be opening up schools because the school, the children have been deprived of an education and working classes are the always ones that get hit. Let me translate what that actually means. What he's saying is, listen, you working class make the majority of our working force, okay? Send your kids back to school because Jesus we need you back at work. That's where we need you, okay? <laughs> we need you back where you need to be, okay? And when you've got kids at home, you can't be at work. <laughs> so send the kids back, okay? <laughs> and the working class get back to work. Because you see, Boris is all about the economy. Boris ain't interested in your death. Boris ain't interested in whether you're alive or not. Just get your ass to work. The economy's failing and I can't have that underneath my watch. So get your ass and get your kids to school. You understand? And you stay alert. All right. Then he says, <laughs> he says, um, I don't know what, I don't understand how this even came about. He says, and reception year one and year six in primary schools. Reception year one and year six, they will be going back first. So, year two, year three, year four, year five, you just said F them. <laughs> right, just listen, year two, three, four, five, yeah, yeah, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. They don't do sats anyways, calm. They don't do sats. They don't do exams anyway. So, so, don't worry about them. Let us stay at home. Or it's like, what are we meant to do, like, fam? Why, why, why? I don't get the sensibility between year one and year six. Like, year one and year six. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think. What happens in year one or reception in year six? What happens? Someone should let me know. I don't know. Maybe there's, maybe there's a reason for it. I don't know. I can't even make a joke about that because I don't, I don't understand it. it it's, it's not even funny to me. You get me? Um, so yeah, <laughs> man, I don't give a hoots about two, three, four, five. You understand? Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then I let it go again. You understand? And he says, obviously, in two weeks' time, we'll all be able to, uh, in two weeks' time, also, secondary schools will be able to have face to face contact. I don't know what that means. I guess obviously we can get in each other's grill. I don't know, maybe isolation will be back into play. I'm not sure what he meant by that. Okay? I can't translate that one. That, you know some you know certain words in English you can't translate to another language? <laughs> the problem is right now. Alright, cool. Then he goes on to say, uh, from first of June, you know, we can now have outdoor retailers and the car showrooms. Outdoor retail and car showrooms where social distancing is generally easier. Basically, everything that really is a luxury is going to be open up on the 1st of June now. All right. So, guys, we need the economy back into power. Basically, what he's saying. We need the economy back on flow. Get those showrooms open so long as they 
stick to the COVID rules, which is obviously, I guess, two meter distancing, um, and showrooms don't get too full up, all right? So make sure you maintain those spaces and gaps, get the economy flowing, all right? We need you hard off working working class to get back to what you do best. Work, <laughs> that's why you're working class. <laughs> get it? <laughs> All right, cool. So, and then I said on Monday, the final crowning of everything. He said Monday, he's gonna allow up to six people to meet outside so long as they observe the two meter distance rule. Now, I don't know about you guys, if you meet your family or loved ones or your girlfriend or boyfriend, <clears throat> Uh, you ain't saying two meters away. I, don't, I mean, I can't even count two meters. What is two meters? I don't know what two meters even looks like to me, to be honest. So I'm gonna be honest. This ain't gonna work. Six people meeting outside. People are gonna take the piss. Well, they've already been taking the piss. We've, some people have already been doing carnival outside. So let alone observing two meter roll. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> listen. Boris has said basically, y'all don't listen, okay? Y'all want the economy to be back on so bad like me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to keep having those parties outside. That's fine. Let me give the people what they want. Let me give the people what they want. Yeah? Go and meet those six people outside, alright? So long as they're family. Alright? Listen, I got no problem with it, yeah? Call me the best PM ever. You understand? Boris signing off. More love. Appreciate you guys.